All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back. So this is kind of like just a vlog. I'm literally just gonna sit right here and I'm gonna talk. So make sure you get comfortable, get your drink, get your snacks, whatever you wanna get, and pay attention. Cause uh, I might be a little knowledgeable or it might just be BS here, you guys, I don't know. However you guys wanna see it. <laughs> so the number one question I get asked the most when I go out hunting and I run to people and they see me and they ask me, hey, you know, is, is black toe itch, right? I was like, yeah. And they're like, they always ask me, hey, when's the best time to shoot a deer? Not as in time of day. It's not the time of day. When they ask me that, I know exactly what they're talking about. Because as an archer, deers jump your arrows a lot if you don't know when to shoot and when when's a good time to shoot it. So I actually was asked that more this year than I was last year because I ran into more people this year than I did last year. When is the best time to shoot a buck or an animal? What most people want to know from me when I when they talk to me is like, how do you get a deer to not jump your arrow? Well, the simple answer to that is actually you shoot it when the buck first spots you. You don't shoot it after waiting. The first few moments when you see a buck and a buck has made you, like seeing you, and it's like, what is that? I'm pretty sure if you think back to it, you're gonna see it. They are always paused. They aren't moving. For a good 30 seconds, they're just still. They're just looking at you. In that time frame, they're, they're registering to themselves, do I run? Is this a predator? Like, is it gonna hurt me? And then they think, okay, I gotta run. And then they run. And you know, when they start running, that's when people start making the bah, bah sound, you know? And sometimes they turn around and look at you, but then they're already on alert. They're already, they're like, oh, I'm already running. So even when you do that, they run, you shoot, and they still jump your arrow. So how I do it, when I hunt deer, every time I stop to look at the deer, I always range the deer. Like, I originally see the deer, I'll range it. As you guys saw in my last video, 320 something yards, right? Well, I'll creep up to a certain point where, you know, I'm being blocked by him. I, I'll use topography to block me. Hide behind a tree, walk. The moment I see the deer, I'll rearrange him. Like, and I'll be like, okay, he's 200 yards. And you wait for a second. Is the deer moving? Is he looking at you? No. Okay, put your range find away. You know, and then you, you tell yourself, careful again. And you make your creep, you, you make your stock back to the deer. You go, go, go. And then know your maximum hunting or your maximum shooting range. For me, I'm comfortable shooting a buck at 70 yards. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook, you'll see I make pretty good shots at 70. If you guys don't, well, here's a picture of my shots that I've been doing. But yeah, every time you see the deer, you range them. A lot of time when you're making a stock on a buck, they're either feeding or they're bedded. You never want to shoot a buck when it's feeding. They are already, all their muscles and their tensions are already um, like a wound up spring. Their heads down, because it doesn't just apply to when they're eating, but it's mostly when their heads down and eating. All their, their muscles are already spring-loaded and they're ready to jump already. So the second you release your arrow and your, your bowstring goes, makes that pop sound, like a little pop, they're just gonna, they're, the muscles are gonna contract, react, and bam, they're gonna jump your arrow. So yeah, you, you wanna wait for the buck. In a matter of sense, you wanna wait for them to to bust you because they won't run off right away. They're gonna stop, look at you, and then they're not gonna be in a, I wanna run kind of kind of mentality. They're in a, what is that kind of mentality. So they're, they're not super high alert. That's the best time you wanna shoot a buck because most of the time when that happens, they're already broadside. And like I'll show you guys this video. This is from today. This is what happened when these bucks made me and my nephew. They turned around, they looked at us, and they sat there for like 30 seconds and they left. <laughs> this is exactly what happens in your deer hunt and so yeah the best time to shoot a, a buck it's not when they're broadside obviously it is but it's not just when they're broadside it's when they first spot you they will turn look at you and you have a good 30 seconds to make a good placement like don't right when they spot you don't rush yourself and make a sudden movement you do that they're gonna just bolt out of there when they see you you slowly re pull, draw back get your shot placement, you take the shot. And they won't, they won't jump your arrow that way. Your arrow's gonna hit before they even jump. If you're waiting for them to, like if you see them 
going between point A to point B and they're moving, right? And they're not feeding and they're just walking. And this is how most people shoot them. They make a, a, a deer sound, a sound to, to basically make the deer stop and look at you. Doing that, it's good too, but it's not foolproof. Sometimes they don't stop and you shoot, they hear your, your arrow or they hear your bow and they'll jump your shot. So yeah, and when the deer jumps your shot, you never know what's gonna happen. Are they gonna jump forward or are they gonna jump up? If they jump up and you're trying to aim for a hard shot, like I would normally do, you're gonna hit low. If they jump your arrow and they jump forward and you're aiming lung, you're gonna hit liver. It's still gonna kill them, but it's gonna take time. So yeah, if you're making a stock on a buck, every time you get the chance to, you range the deer. You range them and then you go back down. Anyways, yeah, there's other campers here too. But yeah, anytime you, uh, you are on a stock, when you stop to try to figure out where the buck is at or the general area, you know, because you, you, anytime you make a stock on a buck, you kind of want, you kind of see the area like, okay, he's hiding at this bush. You range that bush. You crawl up 10 yards, you get up, you range the bush. You crawl up, you range the bush. So that when you get to that moment where you're about to move and all of a sudden the buck stands up and he looks at you, you already know what the range is. So you just get up, draw back, place your shot. So yeah, just make sure you know your effective range that you can shoot and just wait basically if you could get if you could make a stock on a buck while he's feeding he never really want to shoot a feeding because chances are nine times out of ten they're going to jump your shot for me what i found best from hunting and just passing up bucks the best time to shoot a buck is when they first spot you when they first make like when they first bust you because they're like what is that and they'll just sit there for a good 30 seconds they'll just sit there and they'll just watch you so yeah that's my intel to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys use it in your next hunt. And I hope it helps you with your next harvest. If it does help you out, please let me know. Leave a message in the comment. It's always great to know that my thoughts and opinions matters to people and it helps. So if it helps you out, please let me know. I, I love reading you guys' comments. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time.